Hey guys, this is Simon with Trade and Perform Coaching, and I wanted to cover um, a few trades here at the end of the day uh, so that people will have a better understanding of how powerful this TMP momentum indicator is. So, if you look at the uh, end of the day, uh, these are just your basic Keltner channels. You can get them from any trading system in the world, right? We want our indicators to line up, our best ones to line up outside the channel, okay? So here you see we get the momentum indicator to the downside. It's outside of the bottom of the channel. And so the first thing you know is, um, first of all, you have the momentum to the downside until you get a point of control above this bar. Okay? And you'll notice, in this case, when you get the point of control above this bar, is on this bar, and you have another plus sign. So you have two things, right? First of all, you see the shorts are pushing here. They're covering here, and as soon as the point of control is above right here, even if you didn't have this plus sign here, you could use the point of control to take off. So ideally, you entered on this bar with the plus sign, and then, so your entry here, let me erase, your entry here is very clear, and this is in real time, I have it, um, I have most of these recorded today, I'll go back through and edit them, but, uh, and you can see them in my videos on YouTube. But you'll see here, your entry is here, and your stop is on a point of control that would close below here. Okay, so that's one trade, right? Uh, and by the way, you'll notice, right, even here where you get the, the plus sign, where it's not beating anything, the entry is the plus sign, you enter here, and your stop is any bar that closes below with a point of control below this point and you get the push. So let me show you up here at 1.30 central time you have the plus sign to the downside the same as the blue to the upside right point of control below point of control goes behind that yellow line and you push right uh, I will show you, so let me show you where where um, where it failed, right, and it gives you a clue of where the turn is going to come from, is you have point of control up, bar above, and you can't get a point of control below here, and if you'll notice, once you get the point of control below, see how they pushed two times, they really try to jam these guys, and it's the same story, once you get the plus sign down, once you have the bar below, the entries on that bar below these two bars, so it would be on this bar, stop is any close with the point of control above this line, and you get the push down to the lows. These are not small pushes today. These are 100 point pushes, right? And you'll, you'll notice you didn't get along through here, all the way down, right? So that's essentially on that short, below these two pushes, your entry's here. So your entry is 26.11.50. And it took you all the way to the low, 2504. That's uh, 100 points, $2,000 a contract. Coming back. And I don't have any problem showing where the failures are. Plus sign, your entry is on this bar right here. Then notice this one isn't outside the channel, right? So you're really looking for the break to the upside. As soon as the point of control gets underneath, that's your short, and you stay short until you either get to your target or you get a point of control back above and you have to exit the trade. And you'll see how beautifully this works because um, as we're pushing up, again, um, what you want is the bar that closes above to have the point of control equal to or greater than this bar, right? And you'll notice where that occurs. It actually keeps upping it, so it actually became this bar right here. And this bar up here. You'll see that this is the first bar above. There's the plus sign. Uh, this is a little bit tricky. You have to know on the breakout. If you get the plus sign, they stop it and they get right back over it on the breakout. That's long for the breakout. That's fine. The guys in the room know that that wasn't as clear cut. And then what I want those to do, what I want these bars to do, is show up on the outside of the channel. So you'll see it again and again. And so when you're outside of the channel, you use it in the opposite way. Plus sign down, outside the channel. This bar is your entry. It's above the body 
of the bar, it gets stopped right on that bar. Then you come right, so your stop here, let's calculate the stop. Entry, exit. So it's a big bar, right? It's 41 to 23. That's roughly 18 points. Now you have this bar. Here's the plus sign. There's the arrow down. There's the point of control. Here's your entry. So your entry is about 20 points to stop, right? There's your entry. You can make it shorter if you take the dip back in. But this tray takes you from 2698, uh, 2629 all the way up to 2687. That's uh, about 50 points, right? More than absorbing the stop that you took over to the left, or, right, so that's using a contra, or if you use it in the direction of, outside the channel, you would have ended up with your trade over here. This is your entry. This is the bar you enter on. Your stop is on the point, any point of control above that, so it's, it's uh, 73 against 93. And you can see that gave you just a lot of points, right? So there's there's multiple ways to use the tray to set to set up. The easiest ways to use in the direction of with the point of control getting above. So let me give you a, a clear example again. The easiest way is to get the plus sign outside the channel, trade in the same direction as the plus sign. The bar with the point of control below that bar is your entry, your stop. Is any point of control above here? And again, you can see that's in the morning. Look at the size of that stop. That's 57 all the way down to 91. 60 points pretty much out of the gate. So in the direct, so I want to be clear, in the direction of is the easiest way. Using it as a contra trade outside the channel is the second way to use the chart. Anyways, this is Simon. Uh, I am, um, actually, you know what? I'll take one more minute. If you need a smaller chart, a smaller stop, that's what the 15 tick is for. You really have to be more game uh, game oriented to play this, but you want to do the exact, and I mean the exact same thing. So here, I'll show you at the end of the day. We've been outside the channel. You get the plus sign, point of control above. Your stop is a close on the point of control below, and you get the rip. I'll show you a trade to the downside. So, plus sign, far below, your stop is on any close above here. And here, I'll show you what the stop looks like, it's not a problem. You'd enter here, excuse me, I stand corrected. And what you want to do is have this touch the outside of the channel first, see how that just touches, right? So this is another good example. Plus sign, enter on the bar below, stop on any point above. I'm gonna keep going finally have a good rhythm on this. Touches the bottom of the channel. Plus sign. Enter on this bar. Stop on any point of control below here. Again, I, I have this recorded. I can show you multiple examples. Plus sign. In the direction of. Push. Um, touches the bottom of the channel. Plus sign, bar over, that caught the breakout to the upside in the afternoon. And once, so, and let me be clear, these bars do not reprint. After, so the plus sign shows up here, right? It needs this second bar to print, or otherwise it unprints itself, right? So you always are entering on the second bar in the direction of, and the stop is on the bar above. And that's exactly, and the cool thing about this is, that's exactly what we'll be trading tomorrow, right? So. The aggressive trade is this, right, with the close below. The less aggressive trade is in the direction of, and there's pretty much something for everyone. If you need a smaller stop, use the smaller time frame. If you're a more conservative trader and you're willing to take a little bit bigger swing, use the higher time frame. Or if the speed's too fast, use the smaller chart. Anyways, this is Simon. I'm with Trade and Perform Coaching. Um, let's see if I have this here. I don't, but I will. Uh, I will put it up uh, if you follow me on Twitter. The, the way you get a hold of me here, I'll make it simple. Super fancy marketing here. Let's see if I have this. I don't. 
Let's just do this really easy for people. You can reach me and my super fancy marketing team, which would be me at trade form at gmail.com. Ask for a five day pass to the room. The algo is awesome, guys. It will help you all make money. It will help you all stay consistent. Have a great night. I'll see everyone tomorrow.